The same like 10 movies won't leave my uh, TikTok for you page. So this is what this video is for. Um, just try to try to learn more than 10 movies TikTok. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you, Craig. I'm talking to you, bud. Just to start off the video, I'm not trying to police what people like. If you like a popular thing, that's totally fine. My favorite Nirvana song is Smells Like Team Spirit, okay? I'm not different. The point is that if you like something a lot, and that thing is very popular, like, like it's, it's a public consensus that that movie is, is a masterpiece, you know? If you see people all over TikTok going like, Oh my god, this movie. I met my wife during this movie. I had my first erection during this movie. My boner sky high. You know, you don't need to say those kind of things if it's been said so much before. I just want people to be able to discover new things, you know, not just look back at the same 10 things and be like, yep, that was a masterpiece. And then five years from now, they're like, yep, that's a masterpiece. Bring something new to the conversation. If you do like it, you know, do something interesting with your opinion on it, you know, make it into an interesting interesting video or whatever and express your opinion in some different way than what has already been done a million times before. I'm not trying to tell you you can't enjoy something that's popular. Just try to find new things, you know, and if you like something that's praised a lot, you don't need to contribute much. Enough yapping. What actually counts as a TikTok movie? Just any movie popular on TikTok, that's it. I mean, there's not much to it. If it makes a bunch of edits, if it is referenced a lot just on the app, it, it counts. That's, that's what I'm going by for this video. Coming of age movies are the shit on this app. If you are scrolling through a bunch of movie related TikToks and you don't even see a slightest of a reference to any of these movies, you are lying and you are a goblin and you are feasting upon the wet, crusty, mold ridden rags in my basement. Not that I would have any, yet there's still people with the bollocks, the rocks, the cojones to call these movies underrated. What are you talking about, zombie emoji? Stand by me is not underrated, it is, I see it everywhere, I see it everywhere on this app. And this will be a prevalent theme throughout the video, but I have no problem with these movies. I, all of them that I have seen, I really liked. But that doesn't mean there's other movies you can't be discovering, you know? Like, bam, look at the perfection, oh, wait. Bam, look at the perfect- Hello, traveler, this is me, the old man with wares. Come look at my wares, I'm an old man. We, we have Ryan Gosling edits, and, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt edits, and uh, the other edits. What are the, uh, the other edits? Shut your ass up. Peter Griffin's in Fortnite. Lots of thirst traps, lots of those, and, you know, I'd be lying if I say they didn't slap hard, though. Okay, I'm not playing the audio for copyright stuff, but I'm just playing them right now. You know, they're not bad, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, this is just a TikTok thing in general. There's gonna be edits about literally anything you can see, you know, an antelope choking on pop rocks, and that'll be turned into an edit. You're welcome, whoever I just gave that idea to. Once you start getting Finding Jesus edits on your social media platform, that's when you kind of know, you know, humans have hit their peak, you know, there's nowhere else else we can really go from here. I don't think this is a hot take or anything, but I think movie edits are probably the lowest form of any movie content on TikTok. Like, no matter how garbage your opinion is, like, I'd rather hear you give, like, an actual opinion on a movie and not just, um, you know, it's, it's open to a change of thought, um, perchance. Like I said earlier, there's edits of everything, but there's also edits, like, for anything, okay? Any kind of emotion you want to express or whatever, I mean, you can use edits for that. And one of the most popular uses of edits are, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The 
society will crumble, the sun will explode, but Ryan Gosling persists. He has been the icon, the blueprint of literally me for the past like two decades, and this is not changing anytime soon. This is one of those things where it's a pretty big part of internet culture as a whole, but on TikTok, it's an even bigger deal. I feel like everyone on TikTok has at least some kind of holy trinity of literally me's. Like, this is probably mine. I know, it's probably the best one you've ever seen, you know, and I'm, I'm very attractive and funny. And, uh, yeah. These guys have made such a hive mind that people will legit post, like, the same exact thing, but with some minor differences and stuff, but, you know, and it's okay, it's literally me, literally me, guys. <laughs> it wouldn't be a true TikTok review video if we didn't just look at some goofy stuff related to the topic, so, uh, here we go. It is scientifically proven that these are the five best movies of all time. Okay, sure. All right. Okay. Pretty, pretty, okay, okay. <laughs> Best movies to watch in 2024. Let's go. Best movies to watch in 2024. Let's go. Uh oh. There's also a lot of guys that just play clips of movies behind them while their head sits in the corner and they mutter a word every like three seconds or something. Hey guys, watch this. Oh, she's pregnant. He's afraid of fatherhood. This is basically TikTok's entire thing, so obviously there's gonna be some movie quotes used as sounds. So it's not gonna be easy, it's gonna be really hard. We're gonna have to work at it every day, but I wanna do that because I want you. I want all of you forever. You and me every day. I've loved you ever since I've known you, Joe. I love Summer. I hate Summer. I love her smile. I hate her crooked teeth. I love her hair. I hate her intensity haircut. Because you don't know what language, it would be able to describe how much I love you. If you don't get out of my way, I'm gonna have to unleash thunder, lightning, tornado. And put in. People reenact a scene in a movie by like lip syncing to the dialogue. And you know, I can't take too much of a giant dump on this because, uh. <coughs> you know, but, um. It's not the hardest thing to avoid making fun of. But that's really just lip syncing on TikTok in general. It's not specific to movie quotes. But again, I'm not making fun of it. I'm not making fun of it, okay? If I was, I would be making lots of jokes. I'd just be tearing into everyone who does lip syncing and, and stuff like that. I would just be, have this hatred. It's like, it's really be, really just be, you know? Um, and I'm not like that. There's also a difference between lip syncing the scene and actually like reenacting it, like doing impressions. Like I like that. That's good, you know, but it's just when you're just lip syncing it and it's like you're not doing much. I don't want to end this video on a negative note, so we're going to talk about some good stuff of the the film talk community. I know we shit on TikTokers for having the most basic popular tastes in movies and opinions and all that, but there's honestly some people out there that have been around, okay? They know a lot of movies and it's really refreshing. I can kind of count on these people for telling me some new movie I've never heard about, you know? I'll put some of them on the screen right now and just go watch them, go find some new movies. And I know at the beginning of the video I was complaining about TikTok showing me the same like 10 movies on my For You page, but I do have to admit, it works. It, it, made, it made me watch a lot of them, okay? There's still a lot I haven't seen yet, but it, it made me watch some of them, okay? And, and I came away happy. I was like, yep, those are good movies. Thank you for, you know, forcing those down my throat, TikTok. But, I mean, that's a one-time thing. Once you watch it, you're good, right? But they keep popping up on your For You page. But in the end, I'm not complaining. In the end, these are obviously all great movies that people should be able to talk about and discover and all that. But also, uh, watch these movies. So, yeah. Uh, some of them were pretty popular on there, but I don't know just movies I I just want people to watch okay that I haven't heard talked about enough like I want to see some wizards edits Okay, someone make wizards edits Probably already is some out there, but it's okay. Yeah, just just watch these for me Okay, again some are pretty popular. All right, I'm not trying to pick the the smallest indiest movies ever but just movies you should watch 
right now.